Hey y'all, Barley here. And uh, finally, I think I'm gonna get to go drop a base camp somewhere. Uh, we're out at Evansville, uh, right along the kind of the Kentucky Indiana line. Uh, and we're going to this little area over here. Uh, I forget the name of it, uh, it's a reservoir. Um, but we're going to scout this area and see if we can't find a great place to stick a base camp that's going to be a hunting camp. I mean, you got lakes, it's got forests. Uh, it also has power lines and towers and stuff that we're going to have to watch for. Which is why we should probably switch this to VFR mode. So that we can see on the map where those... Yeah, there's the power lines. Hmm, that doesn't look like all the towers are on this map, but okay. There's, there's one over there, almost 1,100 feet, some down here. So we're going to be approaching from this angle, so we shouldn't have to deal with the towers at all. It just depends on if we start getting over on this side of the lake, I'll have to watch out for it. But that's all the flight planning I'm doing. Uh, we're going VFR, um, and and that's it. <laughs> I'm not even going to mess with, uh, I don't know, I might. Uh, we do need... That. Okay, so let's get, uh, it's been a minute since I've flown the 208. Get things all pre flighted here. Yeah. Alright, everything over here is off for norm. Everything here is off. Parking brake is set. Bam. It's non-responsive because I didn't turn on this. Now the trim is fully responsive. So we have trim set to take off. At least my preference for takeoff. If you put it right on that diamond that seems to be the takeoff trim, it tries to lift off a little early, not in my opinion. But anyway, uh, throttles are back. RPMs to full. Fuel condition is cut off. Emergency lever is to normal. Flaps are up. Uh, rudder and aileron trim is centered. That is all of that. All right, so let's open the fuel valves. We won't be needing oxygen today. Now we are ready for a battery. Um, I don't know. Evansville is a good size airport. I think we can get ground service. I think he could push us back, but anything behind us? Nope. Okay. We will probably do that, which means I will need to... Eh. He is off for now. We can turn him on in a little bit. If we so feel like it. Uh, before we start anything, though, I gotta remember. Whoop. Uh, we gotta go through all this. Alright, I've gotta have plenty of fuel. There's my base camp construction kit loaded. I have three of them because I'm, I'm gonna put three around the Evansville area at a minimum. We're gonna do the east one now, and then I'm gonna one to the south and one to the northwest. At least those are my thoughts at the moment. Uh, weight and balance is fine. Not really worried about any of that. The fuel, I mean, I could go full if I wanted to, but I'm trying to stay a little light, uh, because I have a feeling that we're going to need to do kind of short, uh, short landings and takeoffs. Or as short as the 208 can manage. So, there's that. Let all that get loaded upon the aircraft. Alright, we got all greens. Uh, da -da -da. Start tracking. Okay, we can move this over out of two of the way. Uh, uh. Alright. I think we're. Put battery on. We need to. Huh. Okay. Well, it's roughly a 060 from the airport. Uh, we can always we'll put in French Lake A H. We'll enter that. Huh, that's exactly 060. Okay. 
But that would put us a little north, right? So I guess we want like zero, six, three or four. Okay, so we'll go with that. It gives us a pink line to start with. Okay, I think we're done with, um, oh, we're done with you, thank you. All right. Uh, yeah. Now let's just go ahead and start this thing. Uh, norm. Start. Your flight will be monitored until you land and shut down the engines. He's fine. And we got a good start. Alternators off. Good voltages. Battery is not disturbed. I'm happy. Rest of the avionics are on. Don't need anything else from here. All right. Uh, it's a bright day, so I don't think we need any additional external lighting. The beacon will be fine. Uh, a little bit of shadowy in the cockpit, so let's... Uh, Uh, engine instruments, and then tiny bit of flood. Okay, those are easy to see now. All right. <laughs> yeah, once the engine starts, you can get a pushback, but I think we're just going to avoid that. It's a high wing plane. We'll just scoot over him. Uh, what I do need to do, yeah, it, it's intent that I'm gonna. I'm, there we go. We're gonna be departing to the east. Evansville ground Barley zero one with Juliet request taxi for takeoff east departure. Barley zero one taxi two and hold short of runway one eight using taxiway Foxtrot Echo. Contact tower on one one eight decimal seven when ready. Runway 18. There. Uh, we're supposed to use Foxtrot Echo. So, Foxtrot. Makes sense, but it should be Foxtrot Bravo. I don't see an Echo. You see an Echo? I don't see an Echo. Echo's way over here. That's Echo. Ma'am. Taxiing hold short runway 18 via taxiway Foxtrot Echo Barley 01. Why would I go down there? This is 18 right here. Well, we won't. She's wrong. Oh, there's that. Okay, and for the few radio calls we will have. Uh, oh, did I just do that? I did that. There we go. Uh, you can handle the rest of that. Because she's nuts. Okay, so let's go ahead and get some other things set up. We got our altimeter set. Uh, gyro is slaved. Incorrect. Aligned all of those things. Ooh, I'm tired. Um, long weekend. Uh, okay, we need to set up the autopilot if we think we're going to use it. Uh, and been in the King Air quite a bit lately, so I need to remember. It's not that, it's that. There we go. Okay, so we're gonna go. Uh, 18 is 184. We will set our heading bug to 184. Uh, we're going east. Um, we're not going very far. 
Let's do 5,500. No, we'll do it at 1,300 feet per minute, but that's not. 5,500. All right, so 5,500, 1,300, bug is set. I'll, okay, so that's set. Why is why are you on? I didn't turn you on. I don't even want you on standby. Okay, autopilot set. GPS is set. This is all set. We are good. We are good. Okay, so now let's do uh, taxi the right way. We're gonna do Foxtrot Bravo because Echo doesn't make any sense. Uh, parking brake is off. That off. And situated here. All right, we want to go all the way down this line, supposedly. Hey, look, a taxi light right in the middle of the uh, taxiway. Crunch. Okay, so this should be Foxtrot. Thanks for the signage. <laughs> that was useless. A blank yellow sign. And then Foxtrot, we take down until we get to Bravo, which, judging by the signage at this airport, I may not know when I'm there. That doesn't look like it. This next one looks like Bravo. Because the one after that's a uh, runway. It's red. Okay. I have, I have to learn Evansville. Learn this airport, because we'll be going in and out of it a lot. If the Once the industry stuff comes out. Now I believe we are on Bravo again. Good luck. There's no freaking signage anywhere. But it matches to the diagram. So we'll do a quick run up here before we get to the runway. And there can't be anybody behind us because of how it's shaped. I'm going to All right. Governor test is complete. Back to idle. Engine goes to high idle. Why are you flashing? All right, I see 18s everywhere, so we are at the correct runway. So I believe we are done. Evansville Tower, Barley 01 at runway 18, ready for departure, east departure. Barley 01 altimeter. Decimal eight nine or wind zero seven four at tree. East departure approved. Cleared for takeoff runway one eight. Zero seven four. Cleared for takeoff runway one eight. Barley zero one. Okay. It's, th <laughs> it's three knots. Doesn't matter. And the Cessna doesn't need a whole lot of room. Lights are on. Flaps are down. Only thing left is that. Right, so lights, flaps, idle. We're good. And 
engines look good. We're out of here. Airborne time logged. And there's 95. Flaps are up. Harley 01, continue for east departure. Okay. Evansville Tower, Barley 01, continue for east departure. Basically, I'm ignoring the, the GPS now. It got us kind of situated, but we need to be going more uh, southerly, slightly, like by a few degrees. Because we're not... The GPS is trying to go to French Lick. Uh, here. And I want to go here. We'll see if this is a good place as far as base camps go. There's just not a lot out on uh, base camps now as far as... All I know is, you know, the further away from an airport, the better. Um, and the further from, I think, from other base camps. And I didn't see any in the area on the map. At least in... I'm, I, I don't know if there's anything else to set them up as whatever's coming next. Um, I don't know. I haven't fully figured out how the rest works, but I'm going to start out with a hunting camp, and that's going to generate meat and fur so that we can sell those. And then there's industries, like factories and stuff, and I'm not sure do I build those at Evansville at the airport? Because that's fine, or do I build them right next to the hunting camp? You know, I'm not 100% I'm not certain.
but that's why we're going to give it a try and see how it works out. Cruise here. Oh. I want seventeen hundred foot pounds of torque and seventeen fifty on the RPMs. Close enough for government work. Barley zero one, you're leaving my airspace radar service terminated. Squawk one two zero zero. Frequency change approved. This will be Squawk a one, two, should zero, be a really zero. quick trip. Frequency change approved. At least that was Barley my plan. Evansville approach Barley zero one is type seismic caravan eight miles north of India Niner one five thousand six hundred feet. Request flight following. Barley 01 Evansville approach. Squawk 2076. Squawk 2076 Barley 01. A little bumpy Barley today. One radar contact, 9 miles north of India Niner, 15,500 feet. Altimeter 29 decimal 88. Oh, and it says we're cold. Roger Barley 01. Well, we can fix that. Is the oh, we're instantly not cold anymore. That's good. Very effective climate control. All right. Well, so we got a highway below us. It's basically running easty. This guy right here. There's this is the reservoir we're trying to head to.
I believe that is our body of water. Cancel flight following. Evansville approach Barley 01. Cancel flight following. I think I'll... Barley 01 Evansville approach cancellation received. Squawk 1200. Frequency change approved. Is there, a, is there a VFR button? There it is. That's not VFR. There you go. Because we're going to be circling and such, so I am about to not become ATC's problem anymore. So altitude-wise, I think I'll I think I'll stay at this altitude. We'll do one circle, kind of get an idea of the lay of the land. See if we see any spots that look good. So we'll circle with it on our left so that I have good visibility. And as far as other airports in the area, French Lick is on the other side. So we really want it to be on this side, on the western side of the reservoir. I think I'm going to go ahead and let's drop to... Maybe there. That looks that looks runway-ish, right? That looks like a farmer's field. I bet we'd be unpopular. But that looks kind of runway-ish. Uh, there's an empty spot over here. Maybe in here. But right now, that's appealing to me. Maybe. Alright. Oh, no. Tree line right there. Thought it was this whole... If it had been that whole thing, I think that might have been enough space. I don't know that I can land and take off on that short. In fact, I'm pretty sure I couldn't. That's kind of runway-ish looking or over there. Okay. That, that could that could maybe work. Uh, all right. Well, let's give that a let's go give that a look, shall we? Don't see. I don't want to get too far on the other side. I think we're going to go give that a little look. A little look-see. Just a little look. Could it look any more like a runway? down to 1500 feet I think I think we have found the spot I 
Get some flaps in here. That looks pretty darn good. Okay. Lakefront property. Operate. Okay, there it is. So let's just. We don't want to turn right on it. Because we're going to come at it from the other way. That way the trees aren't a factor, right? Right. He says. Kind of go over here, and then we'll set ourselves up on kind of a left downwind. Still looks good. Trying to gauge the orientation of our pseudo runway there. Next notch of flaps. Props for mix lights on. Okay. Need that much power. Right about there, it'd be fine. Thank you. And let's turn to the reciprocal. 50 minus 90. It's right over that. That's it right there. Pretty sure that's we were looking at, right? Yep. All right. Full flaps. Mo power. And then we need to take this. Wind one seven zero at two knots. 
good. Nice light wind. That's what. And it's uphill. That's gonna be. Even, that's gonna help. Speed is good. Power's out. Ooh, let's Landing let's time logged. A little bouncy. Not a great landing. But all the people survived. Oh. Okay. What is that? <laughs> Okay, so we won't use that as part of our takeoff run. Let's get to the other side of that mess. Wow. The rest of it looked beautiful until that. But, uh, yeah, that's not going to be part of our runway. Let's try not to end up with a prop strike. Nice and easy. Go, go. Not that easy. There. Careful. Careful. There we go. And then we'll just... This is where we'll start our takeoff run. Right there. Okay. Park. Alright, so we're landed. I don't think I want to shut the engines down because I don't want on air to quit on me. I don't think. Maybe I do. I am not. I am not certain. But. Uh. Really good looking runway though. All right. So now what do we do? Uh, I'm guessing what we need to do whatever in on air, right? Uh, that's here. Let's pull this back over to the screen. I don't see anything here. Um, how do we? How doth we? How doth we? Um, the business good inventory base camp construction kit. Okay, so there's this one. Can we... How do we... How do we... There is no right click. Transport in Cessna. Yes, that is true. But we have done that. Group by type. View base camp. Uh, base camp feature. How to deploy a base camp. Go to Business Industries Trading Hall. Business Industries Trading Hall. Oh, I already did that part. That's how to buy one. Okay. Load the construction kits as, a, as you would cargo. Use where it is safe to land. Yes, we did all that. When you have landed, shut down your engines to register flight. Then display on the flight summary page. Okay, so we have to... Let's go back to tracking. And we have to shut down. Engine off time logged. The flight is finished. It has been monitored by on air. Now. Okay, so we've done that part. Now we go back to on air. Deploy base camp. There it is. Okay. Identifier six letters or numbers. Well, this is. Uh, Bart. This can be zero one. This will be the uh, Potoka Reservoir. <laughs> A description. Um,
One thing I could probably put in that is I, I, uh, roughly one five zero. It looks like for one way heading, which would be uh, sixty. Is that good enough notes? A URL, what would I do with that? Oh, orientation. I guess we could put this to match the... Ah, right there, there. Come on. I think that'll have to be close enough. Can we preview in simulator? Um, oh god, what's that gonna do? Oh, we get a windsock. Anything else? Uh... uh um... Oh, and that. Okay. Well, that's not bad. So it's on the other side of the drainage ditch. So we'll have to, we would have to overfly to check our windsock, I guess. Come from Evansville, and then we just do kind of a right pattern to land. Okay. I think I'm good with that. That's pretty cool. That it <laughs> go camping and everything. Cool. All right. So enough fun with that. We need to actually deploy it though, right? So we said we like everything about it. You cannot build the base camp here, it's too close to that. Darn you! The I didn't... That other... Suck a frickin... Whatever... I... That was gonna be perfect. I'm mad at you. All right. Well, let's do a real quick startup then. Shall we? We shall. All right. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Beacon is on. Uh, eh, eh. Uh, throttles are back. RPM's full. Fuel is on a cutoff. Emergency is a normal trip. Trim is to take off. All right, battery, norm, start. Let's go check the area out again. Because if something's worth doing once, it's worth doing twice. Your flight will be monitored until you land and shut down the engines. Leave that on norm. That up. We just checked all this stuff. Okay. Yeah. Put the landing lights on. Where? Uh, where flaps are? There. Hmm. 
Okay, so abbreviated everything. We are set to take off. All right, flaps are set, trim is set. Uh, let's go ahead and go high idle on the engine. Parking, parking brake is off. Airborne time logged. There's 95, flaps up. Pull the power back a little bit, not that much. Uh, let's level out. I don't know if we're gonna find another place that that is that was that perfect. I mean, that was that was amazing. That does not look amazing. That makes Barley a sad panda. That's long enough. Not with tr not with obstacles so close to it. Yeah, and a ravine. No, no, I'm gonna pass on that. Uh, what about this one? Yes, be quiet. Altitude thingy. You are not needed at this moment. We are seat of the pants flying. see 
any good places to land. sure yeah, that's not long enough to look a little further away from, whoa what's that tell me that's that's the same place isn't it <laughs> that's the exact same yeah that's that same spot okay so we'll we have to look a little further away from the lake although I wanted the purdy lake slow down and take a look at it. No, no. No, oh, big old ditch right there and hilly. No, that's 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 not gonna work. about right there okay that. I could make that work and we're not right next to the lake or what about this the other way doesn't have the trees to deal with Finding a few areas in here that might might could work. I'm gonna take a look at that, although it looks a little bumpy. But we'll we'll go back and scan that. That's just that's too short. That's very smooth. Right next to the lake. I like it, but yeah, it's too short. I can't I wouldn't be able to never get off the ground from there. Even if I could if even if I did manage to stop it. But it is a good place to Do a little, just a little turn around here. Get dinged for too much bank angle. Come on, plane. Oh, look, plane shadow. Yay. Um, yeah, the one to the left is definitely too short. This is just too bumpy. Not that one. Oh, now let's start looking at the next one. What about there? That's too short. Mm. 
That one's iffy. That's too short. This is good. This that could work. Oh wait, no, it's got a giant ravine in the middle of it, right? Yeah. What about Yeah. Grr. This is what I was looking at the first time. Smack the flaps down. Landing time lock. Okay, so there's plenty of space. There's plenty of links to land. Let's see what it looks like when we turn around. And I know I can get off in that distance. Yeah. Okay. So now we do this again. Parking brake. Uh, all lights off except for the beacon. Beacon bacon. A little low idle. And I'll start turning some things off. Like you. And then you. And then you. Uh, we didn't even bother with the lights back on. We can put our flaps all over. Back to where we'll want them when we take off. We can set our trim basically right there. Okay, so let's go ahead and shut down the engine. Engine off time logged. The flight is finished. It has been monitored by on air. Great, so let's go look at that, shall we? Let's do our deploy base camp. This will be Bart zero one, and this will be uh, I don't remember the name of that reservoir. Potoka, Potoka Reservoir Camp. Uh, let's get our. Okay, so the runway basically runs. Three zero one two. Uh, orientation. I guess we can line it up with, um, let's try one twenty and see what that looks like. No windsock this time. Oh, behind us. Yeah. 
Yeah, maybe we'll orient it the other direction. Okay. Let's do 300. That help? That did that didn't change anything. And where is the base camp? I mean, there's a windsock stuck in a tree. And then um I mean these nice people aren't gonna mind us dropping a base camp right here in their yard, are they? Oh. Well, that's just their firewood pile. I have no, no idea where. Okay. Oh, it's over there. Oh. How is that? How that oriented to 300? Did I not look at that correctly? Compass says 300. We could call it, well, 290. Is that going to make a difference? I don't know. Uh, what we can turn off. Uh, stuff. Waste the battery because we're going to need it to start up and go home. I assume. So now we go over here and let's try. Okay, let's try 290. See what that does. That's fine. Kind of shows you. I don't know. If the, is the P really for parking? Yeah, that didn't really move anything, did it? Okay. I don't think that really. Okay, let's just pick something arbitrary then. Yeah, okay, uh, it's just rotating it. It's gonna be here, so okay. So, like that really doesn't doesn't do anything. So we can go back to uh, two. That'll be just fine. So. Not a highly visible windsock position. But well, well, I think we can make I think we can make it work. Let's deploy. Yay, we have a base camp. <laughs> and I got a smooth landing on that. Okay. Well, now we need to get this guy back to Evansville. This plane back to Evansville. So let's do that. Well, I didn't even think to do, uh, we need this right now, but we could have, oh, that's not, not the button, the minute to hit. Alt, uh, let's try... 
I was gonna see if you can do a search from Bart Zero One, right? There it is. Oh, and it, oh, that's cool. So we want to go to. Let's see. Can we get a job from here? Uh, for a Cessna. Look at that! We can get paid for this! We're taking one first-class guy... Okay. Done. <laughs> That's too cool. Alright, 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 alright. Fine. That's cool. Okay, so now we need to go back to, uh, uh airplanes. And tell it we want to fly our airplane. And then we want to take that guy. And fine. And, uh, 65, okay. Uh,. Fine, whatever. All right. So we will... With one passenger, I don't need to do weight and balance. He can sit wherever he wants. Okay, we are tracking... it into the airplane. And let's, uh... Once again... Why am I? I feel like I'm not censored. There we go. Alright. Everything is off except for the beacon. Trim is set. Flaps are proper for this. Uh, uh, trim is neutral. Everything else is where everything else is supposed to be. Let's... Battery. Norm. Start. Your flight will be monitored until you land and shut down the engines. I feel like we have done this before. Let's leave that on, We're taking off. Okay. Fuel select is off. No, they're not. You'll select this on, both of them. You lie. Okay, that on. Reset. Good trons. I can't imagine that the GPS is going to have any clue. Right? So we would need to, uh, leak. But I don't know how to, how do I, uh, it's not gonna know what BART01 is. Yeah. Yeah, you can't, I guess you can't really just tell it. So we'll just do, uh, direct. Nearest airport. Okay, or not nearest airport. We'll just do a waypoint. Can we? That'll work. And we'll go direct to that. Perfect. GPS. Don't need the radar. Hey, high idle on the engine. Alright, flaps are in takeoff position. Trims are set. Um, landing light is on. Everything over here is doing what everything over here should be doing. We're out of here. 
All right. Yeah. Parking brake is off. Brakes are full. Props are all the way up. Max power. Airborne time logged. Flaps are up. Bound engines come back a little bit. Nineteen hundred there ish. here. Approach Barley 01 is type Cessna Caravan, 7 miles northeast of Kilo Hotel November Bravo, 4,600 feet. Request flight following. Barley 01 Evansville Approach. Squawk 1121. Squawk 1121 Barley 01. Barley 01 radar contact, 6 miles northeast of Kilo Hotel November Bravo, 4,600 feet. Altimeter 2 niner decimal 8 niner. Roger Barley 01.
Rockville Tower Barley 01 is 18 miles northeast 4,500 feet with kilo to land. Barley 01 Evansville Tower. Altimeter 29 decimal 89 wind calm enter left traffic runway 4. Enter left traffic runway 4 Barley 01. Alright, so um, you heard the lady left traffic for runway four, so I have now got us set up. We're gonna cross over. We're kinda coming like this. We're gonna cross over midfield um, and then take a left downwind, left base, and a left turn to final. Four. We are at pattern altitude already. Right now, uh, I hope they fix the heading bug in the Cessna like they did for the ping air where that you could just push it for current. There. Switching to heading mode on the autopilot. Cross. 
across at roughly midfield. That's, yeah, that's 422 right there. We'll cross over, turn left. All right. Landing lights are on. All lights are on. Let's be very visible. We are VFR, so it is our responsibility to... for separation. Not sure why all that just happened. You go there. Some flaps. They're slowing down. And we need to turn. Not quick. Get about a quarter mile out and then we'll start our turn. Speed. Good. Ahead and turn to the downwind. This will be our second notch of flaps.
Landing time logged. Decimal Niner, Barley Zero One. All right, all lights are off except for the beacon. Engine off time logged. The flight is finished. It has been monitored by on air. And that's the complete shutdown. We're home. Base camp completed. Oof. That was a little more than I thought it was going to be, but hey, content's content, right? You guys get to see all that. That's three takeoffs, three landings. Count that right. One, two, three takeoffs. And then one, two, three, la three takeoffs and three landings and one for one base camp. Math. That's it for now. Barley out.